All right, guys. Well, we're starting to work on our y-axis. Uh, I have already cut my bearing block stock. This is two inches by two inches uh, by four inches long. I've cleaned up the ends. Uh, this is pretty straightforward. Uh, we're going to just kind of do the same thing we did for the x-axis. So you can make a drawing as I did here. Or you can just use your tracing. Uh, this is pretty straightforward. You got your two holes, your center hole, and then we're just going to put a step around the outside, uh, three quarters of an inch deep and a quarter inch all the way around. Um, so let's go out to the mill and let's get this machined out. Okay, so for the y-axis we're using 8 millimeter bolts and the heads are about 13 millimeters so we'll be using a different drill bit uh, the x-axis was 6 millimeters so I'm using a 5 16 inch drill for my through hole for the bolt Okay, so for the counter bore, uh, I'm going to start off with a half inch drill. Now I know that I've been getting a lot of comments about how shaky my meal is, but if you guys remember, I've got it sitting on two dollies it's pretty it, it's stable it's not going to tip over but it's just kind of rickety so there is a little shaking going on okay so i'm going to lower this down till it starts to touch and then I'm going to just zero it out and I'm going to go down three quarters of an inch because that's how far our recess is going to be and then also going to go down the distance of my head here which is about five sixteenths with this uh, drill bit I'll go down about an inch and We'll finish the rest up with a boring bar. Okay, I finished the counter bore, and you can see we have plenty of clearance for our screw. Uh, now we're just going to move over and do this repeat the process over here on the second mounting hole.
Okay, now that we have our two holes, mounting holes made, and we've got clearance, uh, now we're going to do our center hole for our bearing pocket. So let me get this all changed out. I'm going to uh, start with a center drill. Okay, just as before with the X bearing block center drill, I'm going to progressively get put in bigger drill bits. Uh, we're going to drill all the way through, and then we're going to do the ball screw through hole, and then the bearing pocket. The ball screw through hole is 22 millimeters. Alright, we're at 22.34, so I backed it off just a little bit. It doesn't have to be right on 22, but I want to get it fairly close. Okay, it looks like I'm about 34.2 and I need to get to 35. So you can take 34.2 minus 35, you get 0.8. So you can take 0.8 divided by 25.2 oops sorry 0.8 divided by 25.4 and you get 0 0.0314 that's how much more in inches I need to go uh, this is in uh, a thousandths So. 
So I'm going to go about a quarter turn and then check it. It's hard to get a real accurate measurement when you're in here like this and I don't want to break down the setup to try to measure this so that's why I'm ever you know just slowly increasing this to get to the right uh, measurement but a quarter of a turn and we moved it 0.4 I'm gonna go Just a little bit more. Then I'm going to check it. That's Now that says 35.03, so I may have went over, but let's get a bearing and we'll check it. Now remember, the bearing block goes in here, uh, and that goes down about 3 millimeters. That's not critical. So if you go over a little bit like I just did, and your bearings kind of loose you can back it off a little bit and uh, you'll still be okay but let me get a bearing stick in here first and then I want to double check okay I had to change out my boring bar because the one I was using has a chip I didn't realize it and uh, it kept scoring and I couldn't I couldn't get a smooth bore and then I looked and saw that uh, I've got it now and the bearing uh, fits in there real nice just like uh, my X so now I'm gonna change this out and then I'm going to go down and put my step with a half inch in mill so let me get set up and we'll do that okay so I'm set up now I'm just going to go around just like I did for the uh, x-axis and I'm going to put that step all the way around. It's three quarter inches deep.
Okay, well we finished up our step all the way around. We've got our bearing pocket and our bolt holes. I want to make sure that they're going to clear. And it does. And this is probably need a little bit longer bolt, but that may be good. All right. And then I want to make sure that my spacer is going to slide over that. And that does, and everything's nice and even. So next, we're going to work on our spacer. Uh, and then we'll bore these holes when we do our spacer. And then we'll bore our holes for our bearing cover as well. So stay tuned for the next video when we'll work on that. So that wraps up our Y-axis video. Please feel free to ask questions and leave comments. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and most importantly, be safe.